good morning, Family Church. Hope everyone is doing well. You join me today on our sixth uh, teaching, our Easter encouragement. This is the last one before Easter Sunday. Um, you know, yesterday, Good Friday, the 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 day that we associate is the 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 crucifixion of Christ, and then tomorrow being Resurrection Sunday, the the day we um, associate with the resurrection of Jesus. But we find ourselves today in the middle ground, in the day after or the day before. And I really want to encourage us this morning about the walk of faith or the corridor of faith that sometimes we find in life. Now, for the day um, for the disciples on the day of the crucifixion of Christ, this was a day of great mourning, a day of great confusion to some that didn't quite understand. And, it, and to them, their worlds had fallen apart. But little did they know that what was coming was a resurrection, a Jesus being raised from the dead. But it's easy for us, isn't it, to look in the Bible and, and then know that's coming. But for them, when we put ourselves in their shoes, they were walking this in real time, feeling very confused. And so I could imagine the day after the resurrection, the day after the crucifixion, sorry, they would have woken up to a, a heaviness, a confusion on what has just happened. Their best friend, the one who could heal the sick, who was walking around, um, causing the dead to be raised, is now gone. And they watched him being put into a tomb. And now they stand here on this Saturday, the Sabbath in the, in the, the Hebrew tradition, in the Israel culture, Israeli culture. They stand here on, on the Sabbath, probably feeling very confused and just unsure in general what's just happened. But I love it because God always has a plan. And so, again, I want to look at this corridor of faith that sometimes we as Christians, as believers of God, can find ourselves in. And one of the most obvious, obvious things about it is that it can sometimes come across confusing. You know, when we go from one uh, destination to another, it's not immediate. There's always a journey. There's always a transition. There's always a, uh, a road we've got to go on. Sometimes that can be sh sh really small. Sometimes it can be really long. If you've got to travel, for those that travel far all the time, you'll know that those journeys can sometimes be frustrating. But you know what? There's always a journey. And this is what it's like in our Christian walk sometimes, that there, there will always be a journey that God takes us on. And it doesn't have to be as confusing as we think. That actually in the silence, we can have a hope and a trust. See, for the disciples... This was the first that they had experienced of Jesus in such a way, gone out of their lives. But little did they know that he was coming again with great power and authority. And I love it because when we read in the in the Gospels, you know, in John particularly, we come in, in John 21, we come to this moment where Peter is now fishing again. Um, and those around him have gone fishing again. And he's clearly kind of just gone back to fishing He's found himself going back into the life that he knew. And it raises a question in my heart is that actually when I'm in this place of walking and I feel like God is silent and I'm in a corridor of faith, am I drawing on the things that are common, that I'm used to? Are there, am I drawing on the things that um, I've come from or am I drawing on my faith knowing that God is doing something? Because this is what we see here in the crucifixion. On the Friday, Jesus went to the cross to die. And on the Sunday, we know, three days later, raised from the dead. But you know what? In the whole time on the Saturday, we're still at work taking the keys of Hades and Sheol, taking those keys back and taking the authority back. And he overcame death. Yet the, the disciples never knew this. And so I encourage us in this, that actually, just because you can't hear God, and just because you feel his voice has stopped, it doesn't mean he's not at work in the, in, in the, in the back story of your life. It doesn't mean he's not his handiwork and his workmanship and his craftsmanship has stopped. He is working. He never stops. I love what Psalms 121 says, that he who looks over you never sleep, sleeps nor slumbers. I love that. Our God, our God doesn't stop taking care of us and having a plan for us. 
When we look at the children of Israel, it's another great story. They were taken out of, 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 a, of a very dark situation being held in captivity. But they didn't just go straight into what was a promise or the promised land. They went on a journey. Now, the journey was vital for the next part. And sometimes God wants us to go on the journey because he wants to develop character in us and, and build character and strengthen us. And so I encourage you to not lose hope. Do not lose hope in what you feel is a difficult situation where you can't feel, you can't hear God and you feel like there's no answer. Hold on because a resurrection is coming in your life. Come on, a promised land is coming. It's just around the corner. We need to stand strong and stand firm, knowing that yes, Yesterday could have had bitch troubles for the disciples. They looked upon yesterday and said, wow, our, our, our saviour was crucified on the cross and now he lays in a tomb. But little did they know the resurrected king was coming the next day. The resurrected king and all his power and glory was going to come the next day. And so I encourage you, family church, let's not lose hope. Let's celebrate this Easter weekend knowing our king is victorious. And you may have a situation right now that you're going through. You may have a difficulty. You may look, it may look like all the walls have come up in your life. And oh, hands up, I know how that feels. It may feel like this is too much now. But trust me, around the corner is the promised land. And the resurrected king has is, is been at work in the backstory of your life. And so I encourage you to hold on, have hope and trust. Not in yourself but by faith and so have a great saturday enjoy today have a restful day knowing that your king is at work see you again soon family church have a great easter